Good morning, it's New Year's Day. I can't think of any better way of seeing in the new year than going and having a knock. Let's have a laugh. Well, here we go. Uh, my tea shot got lost in the editing and is in the trees on the left. This is my son David. He's going with three wood. Oh, that's right down there the middle, go. but a little bit on the short side. He's in the middle. A bit chunky. But it's better than mine. Here's my other son. Now he's got a really big issue today. He's got a very sore elbow from a footballing injury a couple of years ago. And it's causing him to make a little mistake in his backswing. No. So he's hooding the face and hitting a bit of a low hook with everything. Well, it's better than mine. But he had a 98 yesterday, the day before this. And number four is Basher who uh, is going to get a sore back today because we lean on him an awful lot. Right down the middle. Nice. We'll rely on you for the powder. Ooh. Don't know if you remember, but last year, New Year's Day was hard frost, temporary greens, golf course was empty. This year it's about 9 or 10 degrees, bit of a cold wind, soft ground. Now every tea time was taken this morning, but obviously some people drank too much last night because the course is empty. Lovely. Right, we're just going to play a little better ball this morning, see what we can score between us. See if we can actually go around in par in the winter. Davis knocked it on the green from about 200. Basher was about, I don't know, about 125, 130. So he's on the green. So we've definitely got two chances of getting our first par in the bank. Well, we've got two chances for our first par. Bash is up first. Gotta say, David's shot was wonderful. That, that isn't the bad. First par. That's not bad at all. So that's the first par in the bank. Let's see what the boy can do. David for birdie. Fade into the right, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Just back, right back of that one. Low hook. Yeah. Into the trees. <laughs> well, four poor tee shots. But I'm the only one on the short grass, so it's down to me to try and get the par. That's not too good. So not one of us got a tee shot away on the second here. I'm probably in the best position, assuming I'm not behind the conquer tree. We could be making bogey here between four of us. But playing into this low sun isn't a lot of fun. Yeah, James up's next, he's playing his third. So unless he does something seriously good, we're struggling for a par. James playing his fourth. Well, it's not on the dance floor. Let's see if Basher can stiff this. 
get us out of the crap. It's up, it's in the air. It's about 12 or 15 feet. That's definitely a par chance. Right, can Mr. Short Game save the hole? Well, that's only two feet, so. The answer is probably. Now I turned the camera off. David has chipped in for a bogey. Basher makes a bogey. And I've got this tiddler for par. About time I did something, isn't it? Right, the third. The T is a long way back on the right. Over there. Oh, sharp. That is a lovely hybrid. Right to the front of the green. Just what we needed. Basher going with six iron. That's on the dance floor. And finally, some old man. That won't make the cut. <laughs> right, we got two on the green. So we've got two chances of getting that elusive par. This isn't an easy green to uh, put on, so it's it's no shoe in yet. Chip mine to five feet. And here's the chip off the old block. Great shot. Oh. What? How is that stopped? Two inches short. Wow, what a par. Can't chuff that. For the bird. Come on. Just wriggled away. I was messing around with the camera a bit. So we only got Bash's tee shot. I think you faded that about two inches. Right, little update on the fourth here. Because as soon as you turn the camera off, somebody does something like hits a good shot. I had to stop for a pee. You know what it's like when you're an old man. Every 300 yards, you've got to go and stand next to a tree in the winter because it's cold. Bash is on the edge of the green. It's a bucket hole. I think we can safely put ourselves down for a par on this one. The rest of us are a little bit wider. So temporary green on the fourth at the moment because the real green is really quite wet. When we play temporaries we get this bucket hole. I'm not entirely sure how big it is. It's a good bit more than a normal hole. I suppose it evens it out a little bit. That's me. I was chipping on from my bird. And that's Basher getting the par. Is that level par? Bogey. Bogey, it's not bad. Oh, so we're still yeah. at level par after four holes and this is the size of the bucket. I don't know what it is, oh. about six inches. Right into the sun, so I'm afraid the camera's let me down. What a beautiful throw. So that's one in the middle and very long. Another one in the middle, and long. This sadly is another one of those sort of like low hooky things. And I'm trying to go tight to the tree on the left, and hit it. 
a bit tight. I was trying to get it tight. Turn. Nice. Come in. Bunkerish. Might be too right, yeah. Not bad. We're a bit screwed. It's our last chance. So bobbly, isn't it? We made a bogey. Four of us playing the hole and we made a bogey. So now we're one over. So we've got a little bit of work in front of us here. That's why I'm taking driver. I think the ground's soft enough to accommodate me in driver. David hangs it out to the left. Bash is going three wood. Yeah, it just gets one oh, branch one branch. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. You, your golf game's different every day. So we're one over. Now we need a birdie. <laughs> I'm not too sure where we're going to find a birdie from. I uh, pulled the gamble button out there and pulled out the driver and I was hoping to get the ball out to the right. Now I need a bit of luck to be on dry land and not in the damn ditch so we might blow yet another par away because we're all in a spot of bother here. Oh, I can see my ball, it's short of the ditch. About time I made a contribution, isn't it? I'm playing like a so I'm in the mayor's office, and I do Whoa. that. What, what a fool. I'm not in a bad place, actually. But that is woeful. And the greens are soft. Should have thrown that all the way to the flag. Right, James for par. Now oh, yours truly for par. Well, that's me letting the side down. And now, Basher, who hit the tree with his tee shot. We've got this for par. Come on, on. go Come on. on. Yes! <laughs> right, number seven. Time for me to pull something out of the bag. In the right direction. Dead straight. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Make a contribution to the team. It looks like a club from here. Now of course it's going to be a little one-sided today. Your Basher and I are low handicappers, my two sons are higher handicappers, so obviously we are going to feature an awful lot more in this. A little left. Dave has been playing longer yeah. than James, so he's a bit more advanced. And as I say, James is carrying an injury at the moment. 
which is uh, making there. him hood Come back a bit. the club face. Be all right. And you can't play golf with a hooded club face. Oh, go a bit. That was a lovely chip over the bunker, but it just sat down. It wouldn't release. My ball was plugged, buried in the middle of the green. That's Bash's go at par, just shy. So it's down on me. And really, as the lowest handicapper here, I should be doing the business more often yep. than I am. Well, at least the par. <laughs> Don't want to go even more over. Bloody hell. What a ball. Well, I can honestly say I haven't seen Basher hit the ball this straight in consistently for some time. And it is very Almost. good to see. Almost. I love watching him. Because he just pounds the hell out of it. Sharp. Oh, he stayed there. Well, due to one thing or another, this hole is down to me. That's the best shot of the day. Lovely fade round the tree. Followed up with a short iron. I think it was a nine I was taking here. And we're on for another par, but we really do another need chance. a birdie. And that ain't it. Well, at least I got it to the hole. So we won over with nine to go, and that isn't really a birdie hole. Shot. But he's done it again. That's another absolute monster drive in the winter. Mine isn't too bad. That's all right. David's an absolute corker too. Nice. Well, we're in good shape. Right, the scores on the doors. We are still one over. Struggling for pars. We've got a par down here. I think that's job done. So uh, we're going to do something different on the back nine. So we'll uh, see you next week on the back nine. Ta-ra! Well, I got a miserable lie out of this, unfortunately, in the rough. And hit it fat into the bargain. So the pressure is on Basher and David. Just squirted it right.